The following is a presentation of the United Wrestling Network. To championship wrestling presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. I am James Kincaid alongside the United Television Champion, Timeless Levi Shapiro. And we're here for week two of Coastline Clash. And we have a whoa, full. Whoa, whoa. Halston Bodies. Coastline Clash. Get it right, Bimbo. It's a lot to say. I was, I was close. But we have a four-way elimination tag team title main event. And as Levi is so quick to tell you, you were a tag team specialist yourself. Well, you took the words right out of my mouth there, Bimbo. I'll tell you what, my former tag team, the Classic Connection, we have competed in a four-way tag team match for the titles at Coastline Clash. We won't go into discussion on what happened there, but just know it's going to be a barn burner. I think Friendship Express won that if memory serves, but we are kicking off this week with EJ Sparks taking on Kevin Martinson. I'll tell you what, EJ Sparks is a tough cookie. He tried his best to dethrone me with this United Television Championship, and he was unsuccessful, obviously. Well, let's hope Kevin Martinson stays away from the ramp. Let's kick off the action. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Phoenix, Arizona, weighing at 175 pounds, Phoenix's favorite son, E.J. Sparks. In what promises to be a matchup of United Wrestling Network present versus United Wrestling Network past to determine who will be the United Wrestling Network future, EJ Sparks has one heck of a test in this Coastline Clash matchup. What a way to set the table, TK. You said it. I mean, we have such an athlete in EJ Sparks against a stalwart in Kevin Martinson. And introducing his opponent from the Electric City, weighing it at 210 pounds, BHK, Kevin Martinson. Kevin Martinson, a fixture in the over 10 year history of the United Wrestling Network. I mean, I remember calling my very first episodes of Championship Wrestling from Hollywood and seeing him dive from the stage in the Galaxy Theater in Santa Ana, California into action with the Rock Nest Monsters at the time. This man has been a television champion, a tag team title holder many times over, one of the most decorated competitors in the history of this company and this program. Challenge for all the gold has Kevin Martinson, and he, you know, he's been through all that history, and he's still here, still standing, still fighting as hard as ever. No question about it. And uh, but the same can be said for his opponent. Absolutely, and both these guys have earned their spots here at the Coastline Clash, and this should be a brawl between, like you said, the past and the present. And Blake Troop, EJ Sparks, no stranger to jewelry, as you put it, a three-time former Arizona State champion. Is that a Recent shot is that at that as well, and should be a heck of a matchup. Both competed live on pay-per-view during the first season of Primetime Live. Had some great matches on there as well. EJ Sparks' recent victory over Jordan Cruz. What a matchup that was. This one should be a good one. Sit back, cinch it up, and get ready for a heck of a ride. Looking for the sharpshooter, the rat trap, in the early seconds of this thing. Very smart. Martinson wanted no part of the striking. Immediately went in and created a grappling exchange that almost led to that sharpshooter. Yeah, good game plan from Kevin Martinson. You know, he's a, he's a little bit of an odd duck, uh, is Martinson, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't come in with a strategy and a plan to every matchup that he's in. He's a smart guy. He realized that EJ Sparks' main advantage is going to be his striking. So by getting in and getting this to be a grappling matchup, he's initially... He's essentially eliminating that striking aspect that EJ Sparks is so good at. Yeah, well, if you can sink in that sharpshooter in the opening seconds, you're not going to be in danger of getting hit with that roundhouse rhythm. That's for sure. Now looking for it again. All he's got to do is turn him over, and he does. But EJ Sparks uses the momentum to his advantage and gets out of there. Yeah, EJ looking to take, needs a little bit of a, a breather there. I think a little surprised by what Martinson's thrown at him. 
I think there was some torque on that leg, though, guys. You can see that it's given EJ some problems. Your thoughts on this play? Yeah, that right leg is EJ Sparks' main kicking leg. So if, if there is some damage on that, that can start to sway the route that this fight is going to continue to go. Nice agility there by EJ Sparks to set up the striking. This is, of course, week two out of three big weeks of Coastline Clash. And, you know, we should see a great wrestling match here, great striking, great grappling, everything under the sun. What we're not going to see is maybe some of the violence and chaos that we saw in our main event of week one of Coastline Clash, that last man standing matchup between Jordan Clearwater and Jack Bam. I, I say it every time, they, chaos personified bet between those two. And you, you're talking about going back to the leg of EJ Sparks. We've seen his opponents target that before and have some success. Now Martinson, though, looks like going after that, that lower back of Sparks as well, picking him apart. And I would now, like to see Kevin Martinson try and keep himself attached as much as possible to EJ. We saw EJ get off a barrage of different high-impact jumping kick attacks. And if there's any time there's space between these two, these kicks can come into play like they did right there. Caught him on the way in. And oh. now what a jumping back kick. You can hear it echoing off the walls of the Ocean View Pavilion. He could have him here. And I'll tell you, even though he's a, a former three-time Arizona State champion, if he scores the victory over Kevin Martinson, one of the greatest to ever do it here in the United Wrestling Network at Coastline Clash under the bright lights. I got to think this could be the biggest victory in the young career of EJ Sparks. It would be quite the feather in the cap for EJ Sparks, but he gets caught again with, with a backbreaker. Martinson really targeting that area of his body now. You know, even attacking the back, that can definitely take away a lot of the arsenal of EJ Sparks because his legs are attached to his torso. The less his body's able to do, you can start to remove some of these limb attacks, whether it's punching or kicking. If you can take the guy's body out, you can take a lot of the rest of his attacks away from him. Kevin, are, yes, I'm sorry. I, I was just going to say measuring him here, Blake, and I got to ask you too. You talk about taking away the kicks, but also attacking the back, does that take away maybe the torque that EJ needs for that roundhouse rhythm? 100%, it takes away a lot of his attacks and even his grappling offense and defense. Oh, here we go again, another, oh, big backbreaker there by Kevin, wow. A trifecta of lethal backbreakers there by BHK. James Kincaid, this has got to be taking its toll. Clearly the game plan of Kevin Martinson, what is he setting up here for Martinson going up top? What is in store for EJ Sparks? Maybe take a little bit too much time. EJ Sparks still has the agility. He scores with that kick to the head. Phoenix's favorite son digging down deep and now sending the spaceman on a ride out of the stratosphere all the way back down to the surface. But the veteran instincts there at BHK getting to the outside, maybe the safety outside the ring, but not if Sparks has anything to say. Full head of steam. Whoa. Suicide dive Whoa. to the outside. You know, I was going to say that was a veteran move there by Kevin getting on the outside so that he. And if there's anything we know about Martinson, he hates ramps. We'll be back right after this. Rick, do you have anything to say to expensive car repair? They don't stand a chance against the money saving roadside assistant, car shield, and slick rig. They better learn their ABCs, because we're always bringing car shield. Woo! Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new Safe Step walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Call 800-905-7492. That's 800-905-7492. 800-905-7492. Call now. Can your kitchen knife do this? How about this? Well, now it can. Born of the Forge with a heart of steel and fire is a once-in-a-lifetime knife inspired by the hit TV show Forged in Fire. So sharp and so strong, it will cut everything in your kitchen, frozen or fresh. Forged in Fire's knife's surgical steel construction and razor-sharp edge literally shatters the competition. And that means no more bashing bread or terrorizing your turkey. Each knife is hammered right out of the forge and comes professionally sharpened so you can tear through your T-bone and even fillet your fish. Make salads speedy and simple, then finish with your fruits. 
its professional ergonomic handle won't slip, even chopping this frozen solid block of ice. And that torture won't dull its precision sharpness. Amazing! Professional chefs know a sharper knife is a safer knife because you cut exactly where you need to. Your food, not your fingers. Let's watch that again. That's a sharp knife. It may be the last knife you'll ever buy. And we'll hand number each limited edition item to commemorate your purchase. Professional knives like this can cost over $300, but you won't pay that. Now you can get the 8-inch surgical stainless steel forged in fire chef's knife for the low, low price of only $29.95. And when you order now, you'll get the forged in fire paring knife absolutely free for razor sharp results with your fruits and vegetables. And that's not all. Order a second set of knives right now and we'll give you free shipping on the entire order. And all Forged and Fire Knives come with our 50-year guarantee. But you must order now. To order, call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. Don't wait. Call 1-800-667-0579 or go to buyforgedandfire.com. It's amazing how resilient EJ Sparks is. He seems by far the fresher of the two, even after eating that series of Devastating backbreakers earlier, pinpoint knee now by Sparks, who's caught his second win, but so tough, so much power. You know, really underrated power in BHK. It's tough to keep him down for the one, two, three. Underrated power, underrated resilience, the durability, uh, but really that dive that sent Martinson into his, his dreaded foe, the ramp, turned the tide in this matchup. Martinson, though, the jawbreaker, looking to switch it back around in kind as the pendulum swings. Yeah. Yeah. And now the big drop kick there by BHK. He's so much history in the United Wrestling Network. BHK made his name here on Championship Wrestling in the Hollywood area, as I mentioned, from the uh, Galaxy Theater to the Showcase Theater to Glendale Studios and now to Ocean View Pavilion. And EJ Sparks in Championship Wrestling from Arizona. We saw the maturation of this great young athlete, and now they collide and something's Gotta give, look out here, big time German suplex. I thought Sparks had him on Dream Street. Cover, could be all. And Blake, there we see that power I spoke of. What a throw by BHK. Yeah, for him to be able to see that coming, that's again the veteran fight IQ in there where he saw that big attack coming, was able to latch on and plant EJ Sparks in the mat, big time. Again, going back to attacking that back. He has been putting it on EJ's back throughout this matchup. Similar strategy that BHK used when he scored two victories over a uh, you know, member of the tag team champs, the Bodega, Danny Limelight. They had a series of great matches. God, he is laser focused on that back of EJ Sparks. So right now he's wrenching his back. He has a hand on the chin and a hand on the, the ankles with the knees in between where he's essentially hyperextending the low back after significantly damaging it throughout the matchup. He might be able to get this submission here. Yeah, that variation of the bow and arrow. He's got it elevated, surfboard style as well. And relinquishes it, but damage is done. Damage done. I don't know if Martinson had it fully locked in there. You, see him trying, you saw him trying to adjust while he had him in the hold. Thought better of it. I would bet dollars to donuts, though, that he's going to follow up on that back of EJ Sparks yet again, and he does. Boy, he really planted him. Drove him with that body slam. That's taking a rudimentary move and make it just putting that extra emphasis on it. And you can see the results. EJ's not moving and now just starts to stir. Maybe playing possum there. God, I've heard of a second wind. EJ has even more than that. But Martinson looking to fire back. Oh, wow. question mark Beautiful kick. question mark kick. Wow, to the back of the head there. Kevin Martinson is hurt. Well, and we'll get more on that. Measuring Maybe. Him. Looking for the roundhouse rhythm. Nobody home, nicely scouted. Big pump kick up the middle by BHK. The veteran instincts right there. Probably went to the uh, to the hollow deck maybe and went over this matchup a few times, <laughs> simulated it. Yeah, had a well scout. Oh no, what, what has BHK got in store for EJ Sparks? This is, this is, this is damage written all over, don't oh, do this. Oh, he's thinking about it, he's thinking, 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 oh. but now. You can see EJ Sparks writhing in pain, holding that knee. Screams of anguish by Phoenix's favorite son, and I don't know, and I thought maybe Martin's some remorse. Thinking. I thought some remorse, but perhaps not. He's gonna do, wait, wait, oh my God, somebody's gotta stop this. Wow, this is essentially a figure four leg lock right here. 
using the goal or using the oh corner my post. God. And and a cross face for extra measure. Now he, he's got to break it before five. He can't win the matchup here. But what is Sparks going to have left after this? Martinson just looks like he's breaking down before our, our, our very eyes. I mean, what, what galaxy is he in right now? Where, where is his head? Well, we've seen him go for the finish several times. Twice that sharpshooter didn't work. Twice he's gone to the top rope and been countered. He is probably wondering what he has to do to put this young lion away. I, I'm, I'm, what, what is, look at his eyes. What is, what is, what is Kevin Martinson well, thinking? You, you, we saw Martinson got frustrated. He had his first shot at the Heritage title in 14 years. You know, he, he was an alternate in the tournament to crown the first ever United Wrestling Network world champion. I think he feels that he's been overlooked and he's gonna be overlooked no more and he's gonna get the win by any means necessary, it seems. You know, when, when, things, when, he's, when BHK starts pulling that beard, I mean, that, that harkens back to Vermin, perhaps the most destructive force here in the history of this program. And you remember it was BHK that got rid of the second. That in SoCal distancing big played a big role in taking them off the look map. Look at Sparks on one leg trying to trying to fend off Martinson here. Oh, man. Look at him go right back to it. Chop block of sorts. EJ Sparks right back down to the mat. Clip in the knee there. The ligaments and tendons have got to be screaming. Look out here. Brain oh, Buster mercy. spikes him here on Coastline Clash. And the waters are getting rough for EJ Sparks. Here is your winner, Kevin. Martinson. Ladies and gentlemen, Jack Farmer here standing by with the American Kaiju, Devin Sparks, and El Numero Uno, Mike Camden. Fellas, you've had your history with the Bodega already, but now we've added two more teams for that four-way elimination tag team match for the United Wrestling Tag Team Championships. Fellas, have the Hogsmen bit off more than they can chew this time? Have the hogs been bit off more than they can chew? That, that just tells me that you haven't done your job as a journalist, let's be honest, because the American Kaiju made his return to championship wrestling from Hollywood, and he bought his best friend in life, El Numero Uno, Mike Camden, the Hogsman for the United Wrestling Tag Team Championships. And wow, we were supposed to make history. Yeah, it was going to be history. We, we had our history, and we were going to make history, but we didn't. Because four little gaijin walked into the ring, we had the, the neon Pokemon, we had Simple Jack, and we had four inches of meat show up where they didn't belong. So now we have eight people in a match when there was supposed to be just the four of us, right? So, uh, so Mike, let me, let me ask you, is there, is there anything else that we need to prove? Is there anything that, uh, that's going on in your head? I didn't think so. This is about us. Happens now. There you have it, four-team elimination match for the United Wrestling Tag Team Championship in our main event. Are you or someone you know suffering from drugs or alcohol and need help? With private insurance, treatment may be available at little or no cost. By calling us with the patient's private insurance card, we will explain all treatment options. Admissions counselors are standing by. All calls are confidential. This is a free service. Take the first step. Let us help you today. Call 1-800-943-5966. Attention, if you've had a hernia surgery after 2006 and suffered from serious side effects such as infection, chronic pain, organ damage, mesh shrinkage, or mesh migration, you could be eligible for financial compensation. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte right now at the number on your screen or visit meshjustice.com now. Ethicon, a subsidiary of Johnson & Johnson, has withdrawn its Physio Mesh Flexible Composite Mesh from the market. Again, if you've had complications from your hernia surgery after 2006, you could be eligible for financial compensation. We can find out what type of devices were used in your surgery. Call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. You deserve justice and the call is free. And there is no fee unless we win your case. Call now for your free case evaluation. Again, call the law offices of Wright & Schulte immediately at the number on your screen or visit MeshJustice.com now. Attention. 
If you currently do not get health insurance through your employer, or if you do not have health insurance, or if you just got divorced or married, had a baby, moved, or lost your health insurance coverage, listen closely. You are eligible for a new health care plan using Health Insurance America. A family of four can make up to $97,000 a year and still qualify for a new health care plan. Get coverage for doctor visits, prescriptions, hospital, dental, and vision for as little as $25 a week with co-pays as low as zero dollars health insurance rates have nearly doubled in the last three years stop paying the rising cost of traditional major medical and learn how health insurance america is saving people thousands of dollars a year on their health care plans don't waste hours on the phone or on a government website talk to a live health care consultant right now call 1-800-709-1029 that's 1-800-709-1029 1-800-709-1029 Oh, uh, hey. uh, hey, sir, I'm going to need you to move your car. Sorry, what, what do you mean? You're double parked. I'm going to have to have you move your yeah, car. Yeah, this, this is how we park in this parking lot. We've been doing this for seven years. I'm, I'm my car, sorry. There's no other spots in here. I, so I really, really have to have you move your car. Okay. Sir, sir, I'm... You're double parked. You're taking up two spaces. Okay, I'll tell you what. How about instead of moving my car, how about I move you? Do you have a problem with that now all of a sudden? Sir? What if I sir? take you and I make you move my car? Would you like that? Sir. Sir, nothing. My car's going to stay where it is. All right. And I'm going to go inside and wrestle. All right. Pick up my bag. You keep an eye on that thing. Make sure no one touches it. Okay. The following contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Nampa, Idaho, weighing in at 175 pounds, the Lost Cause, Adriel Noctis. Former partners gonna collide here as part of Coastline Clash. Unique matchup anytime, you know, par tag team partners or training partners face off, Blake. Yeah, anytime guys that know each other very well face off, it's very interesting because both guys know what each other like to do. And introducing his opponent from Sin City, weighing in at 170 pounds, the skate park scumbag, Sketch. Sketch making his way to the ring here with hair that would make D. Snyder proud. Yeah, I mean. Absolutely, but I mean, do you even think that he knows who Twisted Sister is? Either one of them, I doubt it. Probably not. But anyway, what a matchup we look to have here. To, to Blake's point, I mean, it's, it's gotta be tough. Do you maybe dig deep into your bag of tricks and try and make some change up offensively to give your opponent something they're not gonna expect? You know what, I think the biggest factor that's gonna come into play is a guy that is better able to control his emotions here, because both these guys know each other's style very well, but they also have a little bit of personal beef going on between each other, and I think the guy who can keep his head in the game the longest is the guy who's gonna walk away successful. A lot of pride, a lot of bragging rights uh, coming out of this one, whoever wins. A lot of personal drama, these guys, have been getting into it, man. It's it's deeper than all that. It's deeper than wins and championships. This is some personal drama between these two guys. And I expect to see them scrap a little bit here tonight. Keeping it fundamental in the early going. So both showing some respect. And you fools rush in when you're in there with somebody that knows you so well. But maybe some deep-seated frustration because as I mentioned, they came very close to winning the tag team titles at one point when the Soul Burners were the champions, but came up short, had some great matches, some great wins, but just couldn't sustain that success. And as we saw last time out against Honest John and Anthony Idol, these two just really didn't seem on the same page. Not on the same page, maybe a little bit of angst about coming up short, you know, one blaming the other, it certainly seems to be the case here. And I think to your earlier point, I think one or both of them might pull out some tricks that the other hasn't seen before. Nice deep arm, arm drag there by the skate park scumbag, Sketch, isolating and neutralizing his opponent, the Sketch lost is, cause. Sketch is doing a fantastic job of using his knee to keep Adriel down. Adriel was able to clear the knee and get back on his feet very quickly, though. 
really putting their fundamental wrestling on display. Nice kitchen sink knee though by Noctis. We might see what Sketch had for lunch. Caught him right in the bread basket. Well, for our sake, I hope we don't see that, but Noctis, he's, he's got to follow up. He's got to shake the cobwebs off that arm and keep on his former tag team partner here. I got to wonder if he threw that big knee out of a little bit of frustration where Skate's been doing a good job of countering a lot of the things Adriel's been throwing at him. And oh, Adriel just decided shot. to hit blast him. Again, another great counter by Skate. Let's see if he can keep these up. Sketch takes him down. I got to tell you guys, these shots, we saw the knee from Noctis, now one by Sketch, the big shot from the outside by Sketch, and now Northern Light suplex with the bridge. I'd say the feeling out process is over. Yeah, I'll say so, and that was just a beautiful Northern Lights from Sketch there. Yeah, immediately into the pin, you can tell that Sketch is really looking for the finish. Anytime a guy wastes a lot of time between a big slam and a pin, he's giving away the win. Sketch wanted no part of that. Sketch is here to get the W. I'll sketch a little bit of uh, jaw jacking at Noctis' expense there, and it ended up catching him going throat and face first into the top rope. Great singles matchup here between two former tag team partners. Speaking of tag teams, of course, huge tag team title main event for the United Tag Team Championship still to come and our main event of this edition of Coastline Clash. What a blockbuster event it has been. Into the cover now goes Noctis. Seesaw battle back and forth. Yeah, as you might expect from two combatants that know each other so well, have been in the foxhole together and now on opposite sides. What a physical oh. matchup we saw earlier on too with Martinson. Sparks, hold on yeah, here. You're not to say what happened to Brotherhood. Yeah. This is what I was talking about, emotions getting out of hand. Whoever can control their emotions, there's a lot of personal history between these two guys. Good and now bad as well. Yeah, boiling over here. Coastline clash cover. Could be all. Do you think, though, that this might be just what the doctor ordered? Do you think they go their separate ways after this battle, or do you think they air their grievances physically with this battle, and maybe they galvanize again as a you team? You know, I'm a combat sports guy, and I think sometimes, men, we need to bang it out and, and figure things out the physical way. I think it could be good for these two guys. I really do. Noctis was looking for something high impact, but he telegraphed it, and there we go into the cover. That's what we talked about. Sketch knew it was coming and countered nicely into the snap suplex. I, I don't really see them being oh, able arm to bar. look at that. What a, what a maneuver by Noctis there. Yeah, Noctis threw that arm bar up very quickly, latched on. If he can get separation, if he can get that arm, oh, he might have a pin here. Almost caught Sketch sleeping there. It would have been a oh. quick night. What a shot wow. to the head of Sketch. Somehow able to stay on one foot, though. Nasty head kick there by Noctis, but beautiful timing by Sketch. Body strewn out here. Sketch and Noctis both laid out. They are bringing their A game. This was a perfect example of guys knowing what they were going to do next. Sketch has seen Adriel do this move a million times and was able to counter it. He was there ready for that. And that's why both these guys are so evenly matched. Both charge and meet in the center of the ring. And now it's quicker to the punch is Sketch. He is rocking and rolling Noctis right now. Noctis trying to clear the cobwebs. German oh. suplex by the skate park scumbag. Is that going to be enough? Well, even Sketch doesn't think so. God, he launched Noctis, though. I, I would have maybe gone for the cover there, but he's got something else in store for Noctis. Able to slip out, though. Maybe costing Sketch, not going for it. These are another time where knowing a guy's moves comes into play. That's why they're able to counter all these big moves. Wow. Oh, he caught him low. He caught him low. The ref didn't see that either. What lengths will Noctis go to here? And that's going to do it. Oh, you hate to see it. Here is your winner, Adriel Noctis. I'm here with CarShield World Champion Rick. Woo! CarShield's America's favorite money saving, roadside assistant, tow truck calling, rental car get, and teamed up with your truly. Woo! Mary and Shirley both need oxygen. Shirley lost her freedom the day she went on oxygen, but Mary has the ultra-compact Inogen 1 G4 Oxygen Concentrator from Inogen. It's the smallest and lightest model we've ever made, so she'll always have the oxygen she needs anytime, anywhere. The sooner you call, the sooner you can reclaim the freedom and independence you deserve. Call now for your 30-day risk-free trial. Call 800-600-1268. That's 800-600-1268. 
Do you use Viagra or Cialis? Have you been thinking about trying Viagra or Cialis? What if we can promise you the same results for less than $3 a pill? If you're paying $20 or more a pill for Viagra, you're getting taken to the cleaners. Our pill delivers the exact same results for less than $3. We'll do the math for you. You'll save more than $16 a pill for the same results. Want more? We'll give you 40 blue pills or 40 yellow pills for $99 and add four more pills free. You save more than $500. Stop overpaying for expensive prescriptions. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to know what to do next. You need to call now and get your 44 pills for just $99. Stop overpaying for Viagra. Call us anytime, day or night, and start saving big money for the exact same results. Have your credit card ready. Ordering is fast and easy, with your pills delivered to your door in a non-marked package. Call now. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Our residential bathroom solutions provide the best value on the market, and our customer service is second to none. Our cost-effective BCI Bath & Shower family of products has what you need. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. And it was a great experience the whole way through. We have the best monthly payment programs in the industry, with payments as low as $68 per month, or no interest, no payments for 18 months. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. 1-800-913-0649. That's 1-800-913-0649. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. BCI Bath & Shower, the leader in affordable bathroom products. Jamie. Jamie, I to talk to you. Yes. I was yeah. just given a very, very difficult time on the parking lot by our attendant. He told okay. me I can't park where I'm parking. I've been parking in this lot for seven years. How long has it been? And all of a sudden, I, I, I can't park? What can we do here, please? Okay. Hold on. Let me think for a second what it would be like to not have a parking space. I can't really think about it. Can't really manifest it. But I'm a helping person. I'm here to make this place better. Thank you. So, I'm going to throw you a bone as it were. So, you know, you're not mistaken, my car. You know, it's one of a kind. They only gave one to me, my boy Brett Ratner, and they, honestly, we haven't even seen the guy who designed it after that. <laughs> but anyway, irregardless, there's no mistaking when I pull up. What kind of car do you drive? Family vehicle, van. All right, my kids. gas mileage, you know, carpool lane, I get it. Yes, it takes up space. I, I need a spot to park out there. I get it, and a person like you should have. I should, because when I show up, I'm going to tell you honestly, when I show up, and I don't have a spot, and then some little twerk gets in my face, and he starts telling me about where I need to park, who I can't park in front of, what I can't do, who I can't be, it kind of just starts getting at me, and it digs at me, and I know that I'm trying to stay calm, and I don't want to get upset, and I don't want to blow up, but I swear to God, when he tells me that I can't park, where I'm going to park, it starts bubbling up inside of me, Jamie, and there are things that I just, I don't know, I just start seeing red or green and Dan. red, and I just want to, no, Dan, Dan, what, Dan, I like this, it's nice, thank you, we're going to get you that spot, all right, we're going to get you that parking space, I can't be held responsible for what you do outside these doors, so please, just calm down, take us all out, and we'll have your space, all right, it's done. Thank good? You. Good. That's all I ever wanted. Good. The Calm app is really good, man. I suppose you download it. I don't know what that means. Main event time here with the United World Tag Team titles on the line. And is there a hotter team as of late than Midnight Heat? There, there might not be. I mean, they aptly named, they bring the heat and they bring the kinetic energy courtesy of Guy Tweekasetti and Midnight Heat really just embracing this new attitude. No question about it, they've got their shot as do a couple other teams. This will be a four team elimination matchup. United Tag Team titles up for grabs at Halston Bodies Coastline Clash.
Here come the Hogsmen. Mike Camden and the American Kaiju, Devin Sparks. And they, you know, had a great shot at the tag team titles and the bodega last time out until total chaos uh, broke loose, leading to Halston Body making this matchup. Yeah, and I mean, it was it was a good move to make this because like you, like you said, everything just spun out of control in the tag team division. So now everyone is gonna get their shot at it. And the Hogsman, Sparks and Camden, looking to make good on the opportunity they had last time and looking to cash it in for real. I don't blame the Hogsman for being a little frustrated by this one. They were doing pretty well in that matchup against the Bodega. Now they got four other dudes to worry about. And here you see Howdy Price and his new combination here of the hot commodities, Honest John and the Neon phenomenon anthony idol yeah, a couple of con men and honest john and howdy price certainly aligned there and he's, i'm still just stunned by anthony idol and the fact that he would throw in his lot with this crew throw in his lot and basically throw out jack cartwright and that whole association that they had yeah threw the whole relationship away really threw a lot of his legacy away in my estimation you know, Howdy Price's boys tend to find a way to get victorious. And so maybe Anthony Idol was tired of losing. Might have signed his soul over to the devil a little bit by teaming up with the Price Ranch, but. Well, if, if there's a way to steal this one, Honest John will find it. And here you see the champs. King Fatboy Papo Esco joined again by the king of the concrete jungle slice boogie this incarnation of the bodega gonna put the titles on the line yet again and these other three teams might just have to pay the street tax yeah they'll be looking to enforce that tax and also maybe no time more than ever the bodega will be more concerned with just winning ugly as opposed to anything else. They just want to escape here with their tag team championships still around their waist. I know it's pro wrestling cliche, Blake, but I hope the ring is reinforced for this one. Look at this humanity. More on that in a second. Here to set the stage, our own Adnan Qureshi. The following contest is scheduled for TV time remaining and is a four-way elimination match for the United World Tag Team Championship. Introducing challenging team number one, being accompanied to the ring by Guy Tweekasetti at a combined weight of 400 pounds, rockin' Ricky Gibson and precious Eddie Pearl, Midnight Heat. Introducing challenging team number two at a combined weight of 390 pounds, the American Kaiju, Devin Sparks, and El Numero Uno, Mike Camden, the Hogsman. Introducing challenging team number three at a combined weight of 467 pounds, Honest John and the Neon Phenomenon, Anthony Idol, the Hot Commodities. And introducing the champions at a combined weight of 536 pounds, they are the United World Tag Team Champions, the King Fatboy, Papo Esco, and the King of the Concrete Jungle, Slice Boogie, the Bodega! Champs have a pretty good hand here, guys. A pair of kings, King Fatboy and the King of the Concrete Jungle in Slice Boogie. And man, oh man, the particulars out of the way, and this is one big time powder keg that looks like it is ready to explode. Yeah, it was already starting to spill over during the introductions there, and we will see if the Bodega can stay kings of the tag team division. The Bodega weighing in with a combined weight of 536 pounds. I think that them not having Dan, Danny Limelight today will actually be a big advantage. Oh my goodness. Wow, Get off to a quick start. Getting hung out to dry was Honest John. This matchup continues. Tag team titles on the line right after this. 
This is a national health care alert from the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline. If you, a family member, or a loved one has diabetes, listen closely. Now, regardless of your age, if you have insurance, you may qualify to receive diabetic testing supplies with little to no out-of-pocket cost. Get free delivery, free information, and all the paperwork is handled by our accredited suppliers for free. Call the 24-7 Diabetic Health Hotline now for details. Toll free at this number. Attention timeshare owners. This is an urgent consumer alert from the Timeshare Exit Hotline, a national company specializing in helping consumers legally get out of their expensive timeshare contracts. We're offering you a way to legally get rid of your timeshare. So if you're fed up with the maintenance fees that keep on coming and want to learn if you can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, call today. Even if you've tried before and were unsuccessful in getting rid of your timeshare, call today and see if we can help. We offer a complete 100% unconditional client satisfaction guarantee. Make this completely free call and learn how we can help you legally put an end to your timeshare nightmare once and for all. You have nothing to lose, so call right now to qualify and receive a free consultation. You can terminate your timeshare legally and permanently, but you've got to call now. Call the number on your screen today. It's a free call. I struggled to stand for a shower, and after falling in the tub, I felt it was only a matter of time before I broke a hip. If you worry about the risk of an accidental fall getting in or out of the bath, could a walk-in tub be right for you? Search Consumer Affairs Walk-In Tubs to find great deals, like a free shower package upgrade. Once you turn 60, you have to realize there are limitations whether you want to admit it or not. My walk-in tub has helped me to continue to enjoy a much better quality of life. Why decide between a walk-in tub or shower when you could have both? Call now and we'll upgrade your new Safe Step walk-in tub purchase with our exclusive free shower package. My husband said walk-in tubs are for old people, but I was more interested in feeling young and staying in the game. That's why I recommend a walk-in tub to everyone. Call 800-928-0124. That's 800-928-0124. 800-928-0124. Call now. Welcome back, everyone, to Championship Wrestling Tag Team Titles on the line. Guy Tweekazetti has not shut up throughout the entire break. I don't know who talks faster, him or that Micro Machines guy. Oh, Honest John just eats a shot from Mike Camden. Might be out on his feet. Got to make one mention here. This is elimination rules. Two men, and uh, now Camden going for the cover. Two men in. Any member of any team can be tagged at any time. When a team is pinned or forced to submit, they will be eliminated from the match. A lot of unpredictability, as you just saw there. Slice Boogie slapping the back shoulder of Camden, tagging himself in, and now Honest John, well, he's, uh, he's back in the corner of the bodega. That's not where you want to be. Yeah, Honest John has really been getting passed around the ring and getting beat down by all the other teams in there. Honest John, though, showing some, uh, showing some real fire as well, but that fire can be extinguished in a hurry, courtesy of Slice Boogie. No doubt, well then there again, you see the variables of this matchup is now the neon phenomenon is gonna try his hand with Slice Boogie. Blake, you mentioned it, Howdy Price oh, oh, oh. would love to add some more gold to the Price Check Ranch. He's already got the United Television Champion and Levi Shapiro, and uh, could his new team become the United Tag Team Champs? You know, we saw Slice Boogie just tag right out when Anthony Idol came in. And I think that's very smart strategy. He is saving some gas for later on in this matchup. Once some guys have been eliminated, he's going to be ready for a beatdown. God, Anthony Idol, what a powerhouse. Just taking it to Eddie Pearl right now. You know, you know, Midnight Heat doesn't want to make an early exit Run in this out here. Look at that, Anthony Idol. But Honest John making a, a smart tag at the back there, All too. that body weight down, yep. And I'll tell you what, the hot commodities are living up to the moniker. They're just that right now. Fisherman suplex. Can Honest John muscle him over? He does. If he goes for the pin, we might have our first elimination here, guys. Oh, Ricky Gibson, though, able to, to break up that pin from afar. Distracted Honest John. And now Midnight Heat looking to work over one half of the hot commodities. And double teaming's the name of the game when you're Midnight Heat. They are experts at it, tag team specialists to be sure. They've had some cracks at the tag team titles in recent history as well. Again, now trying to eliminate Honest John. 
And in, at this point of the matchup, Blake, you might want, you might be happy to be on the outside because if you're not in the ring, you're not sus susceptible to elimination. That's exactly why I think Slice Boogie um, tagged out earlier in the matchup. I think he's trying to save a whole bunch of gas for when the when the game's really on the line in the fourth quarter. That was the power ballad. That's how they used to put people away. And now the legal man back in there in Precious Eddie Pearly oh, got him. The hot commodities have been eliminated. Yeah, you can see Idol distracted on the outside, unable to help Honest John there during that pin attempt. You know, anybody, you know, like Tweak Assetti or Howdy Price uh, can distract you outside the ring. That's going to be a factor. And they're going to have to have a home back on the range. Well, the hot commodities, they won't have a home at the top of the tag team division. Sparks in there now, going for the cover, looking to eliminate Midnight Heat. Now with uh, Howdy Price and the hot commodities eliminated, the numbers game favors uh, Midnight Heat a little bit here. Well, and it, it, it well, favors everybody a little bit more. The math just got a little bit more advantageous now that the hot commodities are out of there in midnight heat. And, you know, four minutes of heat was successful. Midnight heat is like a, a different tag team in there since aligning with Tweek Azzetti. They just have so much confidence. Yeah, they and they've just really embraced this new rebrand. You're, you're, you're right. They have all this swag about them, even just from the moment they step in the ring, and it's been paying off, but Sparks might be taking the life out of Gibson. Cover could be eliminated. No, Midnight Heat able to stay in the matchup just barely. Mer so it's been, a, at the very beginning of this matchup, we really saw all three teams just beating up on Honest John and trying to fight with Anthony Idol. We saw Slice Boogie tag out, and since then, the Bodega has just been chilling on the outside, watching him here. Heat and, whoa, pin. But we've just seen the Bodega hanging out on the outside on the apron. Whoa, another pin attempt. Yeah, that's what we mentioned, Blake. You know, on this point, there's no shame in being on the sidelines in a matchup like this. If you're the champions, the championship advantage is out the window. So take advantage of time on the outside. Let these other teams fight it out, eliminate each other. I agree 100%. Championships are typically won in the fourth quarter, and these guys are saving their gas tank for the fourth quarter, just letting Midnight Heat... Oh, here oh, we go. No. Oh, no! Oh, there goes their social life. Oh, my goodness. Might be hitting those high notes a little easier will be Ricky Gibson. That's for sure. Probably not serving up any heat at midnight tonight. Yep. A new single on the way, I got to believe. Yeah, Ricky looks like he's going to be on ice for a little bit there. And the but again, Bodega, way. again, Bodega just hanging out on the outside, happy to watch these two teams beat the crap out of each other. Into the cover goes the American Kaiju. Yeah, I think Ricky Gibson's going to need some ice, and it won't just be to ice the champagne if they become the United Tag Team Champions. Yeah, looking to tag out now to Eddie Pearl. You're right. And yeah, the Bodega, they're just they're happy to let this chaos just play out, and, and they'll get in when they need to. Slice was out there, he's stretching that calf, and again, that calf has got that protection, and uh, you know, just having some calisthenics. You know, TK, speaking about that protection, whoa, huge slam there by, by Eddie Pearl. Big time suplex cover. But as you were saying with that brace on Slice Boogie's knee, I'm a sports medicine guy, and he says it's for shin splints. You wouldn't put a pad on the front, well, pin attempt, but you wouldn't put a, a pad protection on the front of that. I don't think that's there for shin splints. I think he's up to something. Another pin attempt. That's a good point. I mean, he certainly has turned that shin guard and, and used, utilized it effectively, uh, offensively, in the past. But again, I think the real story here, guys, is that Midnight Heat and the Hogsman are going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Reckless Abandon and all the while staying extremely fresh until oh. now. We're uh, the Bodega, and now the big man, King Fat Boy, checks in. One man, Lucha Gang, checks in, and Devin Sparks might be checking out if he's not careful. Into the cover, and American Kaiju had to have a Kaiju style effort to kick out from that big splash there, courtesy of Papa Wesco. That was almost a surprise attack there by Papa Wesco. He tagged himself up. It Oh, and the same thing happened back to Papo Lesko. Now he's on the outside by surprise tag. Rock and Ricky Gibson checked in. I think Papo took offense to that. Papo doesn't like to be told what to do and when to be in the ring and when not. And Gibson took the opportune tag because I think he thinks that Sparks is in big trouble. 
I mean, mean, opportune tag, yes, but why not let Papo Esco, why not let that hog take out Devin Sparks and, and then, you know, sort of save some more of your energy if you're Midnight Heat? I think Midnight Heat wants to keep that momentum. They, you know, scored an elimination early on with that power ballad. And now trying to keep Sparks from making oh, that tag. for an assist from it, Eddie Pearl, and he's going to get it. Well, they uh, make one heck of an effective band, that is for sure. Uh-oh, they're looking for the heat magnet. They're looking for the heat magnet. This is how they got a victory before. Oh, oh they nailed it. Crushing. Talk about an encore into the cover. A second elimination. The Hawks for Midnight have been heat. eliminated. It's down to two teams. Is your bathroom looking old and worn out? Want to update it, but you don't know where to start? Then let BCI Bath & Shower show you how to turn that old bath into an aisle of beauty and functionality. Remodeling our bathroom was a big decision for us. They didn't make a mess out of our house at all. And at the end of the day, we had a beautiful new bathroom. For a limited time, be one of the first 100 callers who schedule a free in-home consultation and receive $500 off. Factory trained and certified installers made in the USA and discounts for seniors and military. Here's an important message from the Diabetes Solution Center. Diabetics understand all too well the pain of pricking your fingers. But now, by wearing a small remote device called a Continuous Glucose Monitor, or CGM, you can immediately reduce your pain. It's easy to use and helps you make more accurate diabetes treatment decisions. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn about this groundbreaking new CGM technology. And if you have Medicare, you can get a new CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. Shipping is free, and we'll even bill your insurance company for you. If you are testing your blood sugar four or more times daily, injecting insulin three or more times daily, or using an insulin pump, call the Diabetes Solution Center right now to learn how you can get your own continuous glucose monitor or CGM at little to no out-of-pocket cost. You've decided to go back to school. Good for you. So. Which would you rather do? Get up early, get dressed, drive to college, find a parking spot, walk across campus, only to sit in a giant lecture hall, or earn your degree from home with Independence University. I have two small children, a 10-year-old and a four-year-old, so the online format and the flexibility was a must. I could work at my own pace, and I was still able to take care of my kids while going to school. We'll even provide you with a new laptop and tablet to keep when you graduate and a personal student success team. I have had such personalized attention, and it's an online degree. If I had a question on the coursework, I always got my answer within an hour or two. I will never be able to express what I owe this institution. Independence University, online, but never alone. Call 1-800-768-2670, 1-800-768-2670. Boo all you want, all I see are dollar signs. The overcharger can charge for expensive car repairs because your warranty expired and there's nothing you can do about it. And overcharging, your days are done. Woo! The Nature Boys teamed up with CarShield, the Bill Lauren, mechanic of your choosing, Auto Avenger, and we're treating bullies like him to a buffet of, woo! CarShield cars go farther, woo! Eddie Pearl trying to put away Slice Boogie, but he's got too much left right now, maybe because he spent most of this matchup on the apron. I, You know, I agree with you, but I gotta pose another point here, Blake Troop. Yes, they've done the heavy lifting, but and, and, and the bodega, the champs have remained fresh. But how important is momentum? Because momentum is huge on the side of Midnight Heat. They've eliminated two teams. Can they make it three? Absolutely. Momentum, as you mentioned, is a big thing. And if they can, if Midnight Heat can continue to keep Slice Boogie in and tag in and out between themselves, they can absolutely continue to control the momentum and possibly become new champions here. And James, Midnight Heat are a long-tenured team. Obviously family business with the Bodega, but we're used to seeing Danny Limelight in there and Papo Esco. They're the team that won the titles in the first place. So still in relatively new waters here for the champs. Swinging net breaker into the cover goes Rock and Ricky Gibson. I mean, Midnight Heat are all the way warmed up right now. So you're right, TK. And that momentum playing a factor. Look, Ricky Gibson in full control of Slice Boogie. They're playing the isolation game. A lot of history between these teams. Midnight Heat has had some big time opportunities. 
here in the Ocean View Pavilion and in uh, Thunder Studios, primetime live, and will championship history be made? Now under the leadership of, you know, Guy Tweekasetti, this sort of new attitude of theirs, will this pay off in Tag Team Gold? Not if Slice Boogie has anything to say about it. Nasty suplex there by Slice Boogie and keeping control, but his shoulder looks to be compromised, Blake. I would like to see Slice go over the tag there. He almost was able to get, oh. get Popo back in, and that could have drastically changed that momentum that we were just talking about. You know, we saw. Cover now. I love that move by Ricky Gibson as Eddie going for another cover, trying to really wear down Slice Boogie. But I love how Ricky Gibson kept Slice Boogie away from Papo Esco there and was able to make the tag to Eddie Pearl. You know, we saw the Bodega take it very easy in the beginning, and now they're really struggling to catch their stride. Slice has landed a handful of strikes here, but they have not gotten a whole lot of offense. Here comes Popo. Let's see if he's going to change things up. And I, I think that's why the Bodega tried to remain fresh because the Bodega's built for a sprint, not a marathon. Look out oh. here, high impact, double your pleasure, double your fun, but not for midnight heat. They are built to crush bones and bodies and that is exactly what Popo and Boogie are doing right now to both members of midnight heat. What is gonna happen right here? What is this, a double Boston crab? Oh, sure is, but from a little bit north, uh, yeah, uh, in New York, little New York City crab here, and now holding on for dear life. And now what's Tweek Azetti doing? Distracting the official. He doesn't want to see Midnight Heat submit here. He's doing whatever he has to. Midnight Heat are grasping each other's hands, I think, so they're unable to tap out. I don't know if that's a if that's trust or lack of trust, but they uh -oh. are still in there. Oh, nearly nailed Tweek Azetti. Down he goes. <laughs> the party captain just capsized in a big way. There you see the shifting. You talked about it, Blake. What did he do there? He shifted that shin brace. Yeah, that I told you, that thing looks sketchy to me. Oh! oh! Execution style, back of the head. Good night. Here are your winners and still United World Tag Team Champions, the Bodega! What a tag team title main event. Let's look back at the action and there was lots of it. A replay brought to you by Car Shield. Man oh man, was Midnight Heat ever fired up. There you see the power ballad. They got rid of the hot commodities. And then the heat magnet to take care of the Hogsman, but that left the champions waited in the reeds. Yeah, the, the Bodega's game plan played out to perfection in the end. They were able to win ugly, and that's all they really care about. But man, we have got to give credit to Midnight Heat. What a performance those boys put on here on the program. But as they say in pro wrestling cliche, close only counts in horseshoes and hand grenades. And when it comes to heavy artillery, look no further than the tag team champions, the Bodega. Incredible main event action for Halston Bodies Coastline Clash yet again. Midnight Heat coming oh so close in that tag team elimination match. They eliminated two teams, but ultimately the Bodega was able to hold on. Speaking of holding on, Timeless One, next week you are main eventing Coastline Clash and you're defending that United Television Championship against Jack Cartwright. Well, what, save the best for last, Bimbo, you know what I mean? I'm going to walk into the squared circle and defend this United Television Championship just as I've been doing. And I'll tell you what, Jack, you've got a long, long road ahead of you because once I pin you, it's bye-bye. No more little Jack. No more little annoying runt in my hair. And let me tell you what. It's going to be a finale of finales for the extravaganza that has been Halston Bodies Coastline Clash. That's next week. Come on back to Championship Wrestling, presented by West Coast Pro Wrestling. The proceeding has been a presentation of the United Wrestling Network.